Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve problem 4-39 that is taken from chapter number 4, Axial Load and the book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler. So, statement is the load of 2800 pound is to be supported by two essentially vertical A36 wire if originally wire AB is 60 inch long and wire AC is 40 inch long. Determine the cross-sectional area of AB if load to be shared equally between both wires. Wire AC has cross-sectional area of 0.02 inch. So you can see this is load that is suspended from by two row, row wires AC and AB that is made up of A36 steel and the length of AB is 60 inch and length of AC is 40 inch. The cross-sectional area of 0.02 of AC. So you have to find the cross-sectional area of AB. So let's start with the given data. So we have been given that load of 200. So load, let this load is W is equal to 2800 pounds and two A36 steel wires. Length of this wire AB is 60 inch and length of this wire AC is 40 inch inch cross sectional area of ac is equal to 0 0.02 square inch and it is given that load is to be shared equally so load is to be shared equally so what we have to find is we have to find determine the cross-sectional area of AB. So we have to find area of AB. So let's start with the solution. So first step is that we have been given that load is to be shared equally. So if this is your point A clear where there is a load in due to the load that is acting downward and this load is W. Let me draw it. This load is W that is acting downward clear and this W is equal to 2800 pounds. So at this point we have wire A, B, A, A, C. So stress, uh, uh, sorry, force in wire A, C is T, A, C and similarly stress uh, force in wire A, B is T, A, B. Since it is given that load is shared equally, so T, A, B is equal to T, A, C and that is equal to 2800 divided by 2. So from here you will get this TAB is equal to TAC is equal to 1400 pounds. Now you have this load clear in each wire since these two both wires are both wires both wires are of A36 steel clear. So uh, deformation will be same in both same because the load is also same so we have deformation of EB will be equal to deformation of AC and we know that deformation is equal to load into length divided by cross-sectional area into E so what we will do is that this will be equal to TAB into length AB divided by cross-sectional area of AB into E is equal to TAC into length AC divided by cross-sectional area of AC into E. Now we do not know E but hey, we have been given that A36 steel wire. So you have to go at the end of the book clear and in book you have to go to the average mechanical properties and you have to look for a36 structural steel so you can see this is 29 into 10 to the power 
3 ksi so this is for us customary if you have been given for millimeter or meter so you then you have to go to the si unit but here we are following us customary because we have been given in inch so 29 into 10 to the power 3 ksi will be the value okay so we will write for a36 steel we have e is equal to 29 into 10 to the power 3 ksi now put the value tab is given calculated as 1400 length of ab is 60 inch that was written in data you can see this is the length ab this is length ac each and every data is given cross sectional area of ab is not known into e which is 29 into 10 to the power 3 ksi so we will multiply 10 to the power 3 additionally to remove this kilo clear and that is equal to 1400 multiply by length of 40 length is uh, 40 okay length is 40 for ac you can see this length is 40 okay divide by area of ac 0 0.02 and e is 29 into 10 raised to power 3 ksi and ksi will be again 10 raised to power 3 because that will be in um, pounds okay so now when you calculate this this will cancel with this clear and this 1400 will cancel with this so you will left with area of a b will be equal to 60 divided by 40 multiply by this 0 0.02 you can see this will go toward this side this 60 is there and 40 will be downward and 0 0.2 will be multiplied so when you calculate it you will get a cross-sectional area of wire a b comes out to be 0 0.03 square inch and that is the answer of our this question 4-39 and that was all about this problem 4-39 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching